right, Sean. It's been a wild past few months. How would you sum up this first half of the season? Uh, gosh, I guess never a dull moment. It would be the easiest way to put it. But, you know, as, as with every NBA season, you have your highs and lows. Um, love where the team is going, the trajectory. Uh, it's been fun to see the guys really come together. I think that's one of the things we've probably enjoyed the most, looking at it from afar, is the, the camaraderie that's been formed amongst, amongst the guys out there. Does the fact that your big three has only played seven games together, yet you're still winning, how much optimism, how encouraging is that when you think about what you're trying to accomplish and the ultimate goal as a team? Yeah, it is. I think it's a great opportunity for, for you know, other, not just the big three, but the guys, you know, the other ones. So they're stepping up. They've got a great challenge ahead of them. You know, more is going to be expected out of, out of everybody. But I think we all know um, what our ultimate goal is here. We're not going to shy away from that. So it's a great challenge and a great opportunity for other people to step up. And I think we've seen that. We've seen the likes of, you know, TLC and Landry really come in and play extremely well for us, which has been, which has been great. Great to see their growth and maturity. Okay, the guys have talked a lot about holding each other accountable and how that's been somewhat of a turning point for the team, particularly since that Detroit game. And we've seen camera angles on television of guys looking like they're in heated conversation. It's almost been somewhat of an edu education for a lot of folks on no, there's nothing wrong here. <laughs> these guys are figuring things out. In what ways have you seen these players holding each other accountable? Well, you mentioned it. It's just being able to have very candid conversations with one another. And, you know, again, if you know the ultimate goal, you know where you're trying to get to, you're not afraid to have that conversation, you're not afraid to hold each other accountable because you know, ultimately we all know it's going to take everybody. It's not going to take one or two or three people. It's going to take everybody. So um, everybody has a lot to add. You know, we're going to be relying on, you know, guys who potentially haven't had an opportunity before to step up. And those guys are going to win us a game down the stretch here. It's going to be important for um, those guys to seize this opportunity. Uh, and along with that, it, it comes with, as you mentioned, there are some heated conversations, but that's healthy. You know, as long as you, you walk away from there with your arm around the guy and, and, and moving in the right direction. And, um, you know, I think seasons in the past, you would have had you would have formed bonds and camaraderie off the court much quicker than you could have this year, simply because of you know because of the pandemic and COVID and the rules and regulations about not being able to do certain things with your teammates and, and so forth. So um, it's going to take a little bit of time, but uh, you know it's it's every bus ride, it's every practice, it's every shoot around, it's every team dinner that we're allowed to have, and and they're sitting together and, and having just conversations a lot of times outside of basketball that have really helped build that camaraderie. How much improvement have you seen in Steve Nash as head coach? Uh, yeah, a lot of improvement. And I think <laughs> he'd, he'd be the first to say, I have a long way to go. We talk very regularly about like, you know, where can he get better? What can, what can we do to help each other and so forth? But, you know, I, I've been thrilled at his approach to the game, his patience, his poise. Uh, it's the same way in which he played, the same way in which he really sort of just conducts his life. It's, it's who he is. Um, he doesn't seem to get rattled. Um, you know, he's stern in, w in what he wants out there on the court, but he has a great uh, appreciation for letting the players figure things out on their own a little bit. And then when he needs to step in, he steps in. But, you know, like all of us, we're always trying to grow and develop and improve. And I think that's what we've seen for Steve. And, and the entire staff. I think the staff has done a terrific job supporting him. He's done an amazing job of letting himself be vulnerable and let himself learn from the likes of Mike and Ime and Jacques and the list goes on. So, um, you know, I think we all have room for improvement, but uh, it, it's been great to see you know, how that staff in particular has continued to grow and form some bonds.